Okay, so um, I was noticing in class that uh, I definitely saw some frustration in some of your eyes as you were trying to kind of digest all of this. We're, we're going just so quickly through things and normally we would have, you would have learned some of this in Algebra 2 and this would be partially the review and partially new. And this year it's all new and uh, so I'm a little concerned about the speed of things. So I thought maybe if I made a couple of very, very brief videos about how to do a couple of things, maybe with a little Delta math built in, that might be helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at, um, at a Delta math deal. We're gonna be looking at a simple problem here where we're gonna be graphing an exponential function. Now, the first thing that I notice is this is negative three times two to a power plus four, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. I just see blah, 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 blah. But what I really see is y equals two to the x. So I have f of x is equal two to the x. And then what I would like to turn that into is negative three times two raised to the x plus three plus four. So let's talk about how that's going to play out. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work on scratch paper first, because I think that's kind of what we should do. And, um, and then from there, hopefully we'll be able to get that stuff done pretty well. So let's go ahead and share that to my document camera here. So if I consider this the parent function, two to the X, of course, um, I personally like using numbers that are kind of small. You don't have to use these numbers, but you know, two to the minus one is a half, two to the zero is one, two to the one is two, you know, simple values. Now, that was not the question that they were asking me to do though. They were asking me to look at this graph right here. Well, what I can see very, very quickly, um, although I put this plus four in kind of an awkward spot, let me fix that. I'll put this down here. What I noticed is this right here is the only thing they replaced x with x plus three. That kind of is what we call the parent function. So that's gonna move all of those x values to the left three units. And then the values that are sitting out here in front, this three is in front of the two to the x as is the four. So we're gonna go ahead and multiply all those y values by negative three and then add four to them. So four times negative three is negative 12. So that would be negative eight. Four times, uh, th two times negative three is negative six. Negative three times one is uh, negative three plus four is positive one. And of course this is negative one and a half plus four is two and a half. Now, unfortunately that's one of those cases where we're not actually gonna be able to put this on the graph in that program. But I also am gonna take this y um, asymptote here and multiply it by negative three, which doesn't do anything and then I'm gonna add four to it, and so I end up with y equals four. So I notice that I have these set of values that should actually work out reasonably well within that program. So let's go back here into the, the program, and what I saw is that I had a horizontal asymptote, and my horizontal asymptote was at y equals four. So I'm gonna slide that up to y equals four. Now I need two more points. I have more than that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab negative two, negative two, because that was one of the points that I had. That would be maybe down here. And another point that I had was uh, negative three comma one. And that was sitting over here, negative three comma one. And so that's really all you had to do in that particular problem to get to go where you're going. So let's go ahead and go to a new problem. So in my next problem that I wanted to look at, as I was looking for a logarithm, and I have one right there, so they're asking me to graph f of x equals twice log base four of x plus eight. Now again, what that means, if we were to look back here at this story right here, there's absolutely nothing happening within X itself. That, that base function is alone. So the only thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna multiply all my Y values by two, and then I'm gonna add eight to those numbers. So 
I'm going to start with a simple little exponential story, 4 to the x. And because 4 is a relatively large number when you square it or something like that, I'm going to keep the numbers pretty small. And I don't know what's going to fit on the graph paper by the time I do all this. So I'm going to write a couple of them down and hope that one of them is going to work. Now this time it is not an exponential, it's all the way to the log. So the first thing I need to do is flip it over and make it a log base four. So all of my X's and Y's are going to switch places. So as I go through all of these things, all my X's and Y's are gonna change. And now in my final analysis in this story, we are not gonna do anything to X. We kind of established that already but all the y values are gonna get doubled and then I'm gonna add eight. So negative one doubled is negative two, add eight is six. Zero doubled, added eight is eight. One doubled is two, add eight is 10. Two times two is four, plus eight is 12. And if I double zero, and excuse me, I said the x's didn't change, so that's still x equals zero. I didn't need to do that at all. So let's see what happens within the program. So it comes in here. I had x equals zero, which is my asymptote, so that's vertical, and I'll slide that all the way over here to x equals zero. And I had a couple of values, like I like the number one comma eight. That was one of my numbers. That was one comma eight right here. And another number that I kind of liked, I thought would be pretty nice, was four comma ten. So I had four comma ten right I think I had that right, four comma 10, there we go. And so that would be my graph of that particular story. So I hope that helps. So notice that I did have to use graph paper, but I also, you know, scratch paper, but I then was able to use the program to get what I wanted. Hopefully that was very helpful to you. Um, if you're kind of working through that, those can be challenging. All right, let me know if you need help. All right.